gamma pentin in tremor when to use gamma pentin uh, it has a low low support for use in tremors essential tremor can respond to gabapentin ataxic tremor can respond to gabapentin dystonic tremor can respond to gabapentin the only time you should not use gabapentin is myoclonic tremor my gabapentin increases myoclonus it's a serotonergic kind of a medication so it increases uh, serotonin and gaba itself can cause myoclonus and make tremor worse if it's a myoclonic tremor so don't use it there but other tremors you can try it but my best success with gabapentin has been in ataxic tremor intention tremor seems to have some response to gabapentin so adding drug for biphasic dyskinesia so the goal for biphasic dyskinesia is to smooth out the day so you're trying to fill in the gap so they don't wear off if they don't wear off then they don't kick in again and so you take away both of the times when the dyskinesia happens so it's happening on wearing off and kicking back in and if you don't let them wear off and they don't need to kick back in then the dyskinesia goes away so you're trying to smoothen out the day uh, trihexphenidyl for dyskinesia i've tried it without much success uh, trihexphenidyl has very good response for dystonic tremor and dystonia but is very poor tolerance uh, in, for trihexphenidyl in 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 caucasian population i know asians like pakistani people tolerate trihexphenidyl much better and i see that they use trihexphenidyl in a much higher dose in pakistan and very commonly and good response i was skeptic before but now i think that's true so there is some uh, ethnic related or racial related differences in trihexphenidyl caucasian population do not tolerate trihexphenidyl very well i don't i don't think it's very effective for dyskinesia but i think it's very good for tremors essential tremor dystonic tremor parkinson tremor all these tremors respond very well to trihexphenidyl and dystonia responds very well to trihexphenidyl so there will be a drug you could use for levodopa induced dystonia So if you're not able to get them Botox or something, then you can use trihexphenidyl to try to block the levodopa-induced dystonia, but probably doesn't work very well in in US population.